So here's what I'm mounting on the wall behind the machine. It's a switch that the router and vacuum will plug into and I like to do this on my machines in one form or another. The same theme, it's always a uh, it's always an AC outlet with a, a high powered switch with some wire, you know, that I can carry this around with me if I want to. So I'm sitting down at a desk, I can just carry this with me and I can turn the router off if there's a problem for any reason. This won't kill the the stepper motor drivers, but it will kill the router, and that's the part that's going to hurt you anyway. It's just a good idea. I never trust it solely to a relay. I don't think that's a good idea. So the vacuum and the router will get plugged into this. So I know there's a stud here because it's uh, right in line with the shelf brackets. So I just go 16 inches over, I put a level on it, and scribe the line, that'll be the center of my stud, hopefully. It makes sense though because there's a receptacle right underneath it to the right side of that. So I'd say that's a pretty good guess. I've showed this type before, but here it is again. This switch is just a different type of switch, but it's the same idea with a length of cord and an outlet. I did a, that one a little bit fancier. I also put a safety switch on there. So if you hit that switch, it it won't work anyway. But when that's up, it works. And then this is your switch. I have to move that on this side of the room. So for some reason that ground didn't get hooked up. It got hooked up on the one line, but uh, there's two wires here and both of those should be grounded. So I'll just use one of these. These are inline splicers for like AC lines, 14 to 18 gauge. These connectors are super sweet. They're worth whatever, however many pennies they are. Totally worth it. Did you know that the new code is to put the ground up? I mean, it's been the new code for a long time, but FYI, this is the new way you're supposed to wire them. Thinking that if something lands across here, it'll hit the ground instead of the hot wire, you know? Yeah, I don't know. So that's code for most of the U.S. Little test of the system. Okay, now I'm going to paint the covers to both of these the same color. Probably red. Red paint dried up, so I'm going to try this stuff. It's red Plasti Dip. Guys are using this for their car, and I thought I'd try a can. It's like $5 a can, but uh, Plasti Dip. It's almost like a rubber coating when it dries. It'll be a good test. This is one coat, and I think that's good enough. It's like this rubbery stuff. It's kind of weird. I kind of like it. And if you're tired with it later, you can peel it off. Go look up guys painting their car with this. Plasti dip. You could actually paint your car with a can, even though it costs a lot more than the bulk. I only used one coat of that plasticize, and I didn't let it dry enough. When I put these screws in, you can see what it did. That's okay though. That stuff's weird. Let me show you on the wood. So the big thing about this is you can peel it off when you're done with it, you know? Look at that. You can tell it's rubbery. A thicker coat is better in the beginning. I probably put this on a little thin, but uh, you get the idea. Plasticize. Okay, so here's what we have. This is for the left and that's for the right. And I stuck night lights in them so you could tell the status.
Again, I'll be putting spindles and vacuums on these. Works great. Yeah, the plastic dip didn't quite work out for me. It's my fault. I didn't prep it well, but uh, I'm going to peel it off and repaint it normal. Bugs me. My fault, though. So look at there, a little bit of acetone and no more red. That stuff's weird. kind of quick and dirty but it does work one thing that is good about the open flame though is you can melt shrink tube you know it's okay for portable situations like this I wouldn't want to use it on a making a board or something like that but just for quick connections yeah man it's fine I've had this for at least 15 years Radio Shack sold these And you can get a more modern version of them online. Everything's properly grounded on the motor. This one. This one. This one. Clips on right down there, right there, right there. Well, now that I have all the wiring done behind here, it's time to bolt them to the wall, and I'm going to take these lag bolts drill some holes and lag bolt them right into the wall into the studs and that'll keep them from moving when they're running because they tend to want to scoot around you know if you're running real hard and that's it I hope you enjoyed this little uh, cutting room floor video and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye for now hey don't forget to uh, thumbs up and comment below thanks <laughs>